Uh, Coach, can you just uh, first give us your overall thoughts on uh, today's performance by your team? Sir, I have to get. I have to start off giving full credit to CNU. They played an amazing game. It was great to play against them, um, and I think that my team. We did our best. We tried our best, and we just had a lot of errors. So that was what killed us. Can you talk about the resiliency as well? I mean, in each set, you guys were in it uh, through the 10, 15 point uh, before they would get on a big run. Yeah, before we got started, our goal was actually to just keep up with them and to have four, four attacks or four kills. And hon honestly, I'm actually happy with the score and how well we played. But our goal was to get in our 20s, so we were almost there. Uh, can you talk about uh, Kaylee as she sits here with you? Uh, tremendous career I think tonight, uh, three times on this floor. Um, obviously, has just a tremendous uh, career performance from her. I mean, the only answer I have is that she's going to be a tough replacement, and I'm really going to miss her. So. She's my first player to go to the NCAA in four straight years, and I'm very fortunate to have her as a player for four years, so I'm really going to miss her. And Kaylee, can you talk about that as well? Uh, very familiar with the NCAA tournament and, and how it is playing in this environment? Really, it's just an awesome experience to be on this court, just to be able to be involved in that kind of experience. It's wonderful. I really honestly never thought I could play for Gallaudet. I never really thought I could play in the double or in CAA. It was always my goal, and now I'm like, oh my God, I'm playing for Gallaudet, and everything just kept happening. So I really met my goal, and it's been an awesome experience. Julie, can you talk about the team this year, and then also moving forward, how excited you are to potentially get back here again next year for the NCAA tournament? <laughs> All I can say is that this team has amazing potential for the following years. And as long as they just keep up their tenacity and their work, work ethic and learning, never giving up and stuff like that, then they'll learn from their mistakes and they'll bring it back for the following year. So they just have to keep learning. And they're doing good. I'm excited to see the, what's going to happen next year. Good luck. And I wanted to tell them that they're a young team. And hopefully they can come back to this venue and this event. I want them to able. I want them to be able to come back. Coach, uh, one last question: Can you just talk about the success and possibly the future of Gallaudet volleyball? I know you said Kaylee is going to be a big replacement, but uh, moving forward, how you expect to compete in the future? Gallaudet always likes challenges. It doesn't matter who it is. If we're first, second, or third, it doesn't matter. And Julia is actually a senior this year, and she's just been amazing. Hopefully, we can bring that tradition back every year. And that's my apologies. I uh, understand both of you have great careers. Um, thank you so much for being here tonight. Uh, great season as well, and uh, good luck in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you. Coach, congratulations on the first round win over Gallaudet. Um, can you just give us your overall performance or uh, overall comments on the performance today? Yeah, um, we're we're very happy to win in advance um, into the tournament. Um, I felt like Gallaudet played a really strong match. Um, you know, they passed, I thought, pretty well, um, and and we tried our best to serve very very aggressively, and. Um, 
they did a really, really great job of using our block. Um, we only had two total blocks, and we averaged over two blocks per set. So um, hats off to them. I thought they played really well. They, they, they played very um, aggressive and relaxed, and, um, and it certainly showed. It, it was a, a hard-fought win for us today. Uh, look like uh, in each set you guys would kind of go back and forth there for the first 10, 10 15 points, and then you guys would run off a big run. Um, can you just talk about you know, maybe the resiliency of the team and, and being able to kind of put away a team in the first round? Um, I don't really yeah. like playing that way, but unfortunately we always start slow. And um, and then somewhere in the middle, between 10 and 20 points, we we – we hit a run with someone at the service line, and that was pretty typical tonight, too. Um, but our defense really picked up. Um, they, um, they run a high middle set, which is pretty unorthodox, and we're not really used to defending that. Um, so we, we struggled early, um, but Brooke made some, some really great digs um, to give us some momentum and, um, and take some of the momentum away from their game. Maddie, you... Uh... Went to the tournament last year, but uh, unfortunately it was away from home. This is your first NCAA tournament game on this floor. Can you just talk about what that means and, and maybe uh, how it felt to play from the home crowd? I definitely a sense of comfort um, being at home. I mean, being able to be in our home locker room and have our normal rituals, it definitely helps. And it's just uh, it's a really fun experience to have your family and your whole crowd there just, uh, just to support you. So it's much better. Thank you. Sorry. Didn't mean to pick up. <laughs> on the other hand, this is your third tournament here. Uh, yes. You know, you're you know how crazy this crowd can get, and you know, obviously you stepped up your game today. Can you just talk about you know what it's like for you to play in front of the crowd as well? Um, especially being my senior year, it's definitely a blessing. Um, I think last year when we were away, it was kind of you know we were like off a bit, and so being at home, you know, we've had a great season. So being at home has really like just like pushed everybody mentally to like want to get to nationals. Um, obviously, Stevenson came away with a hard-fought uh, five-setter in the game before you guys watched that. Can you um, kind of all address what it's going to be like playing a, a team that played such an emotional game and, and obviously really coming off a high of winning a very hard-fought game versus your guys' quick three-setter tonight? Well, I wouldn't say that ours was easy. It was um, quicker than theirs, but it was definitely just as hard-fought, um, even though the score may not look that way. Um, but Stevenson is so good defensively. Their libero is um, really, really a great player. Um, but their overall team defense is 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 going to give us frustrations tomorrow, without a doubt. Um, even though we're a very strong offensive team, um, we're going to have our hands full. Um, I hope that we. Um, I hope that we just relax tomorrow and play play much, much better. I felt like we were quiet tonight, and I think it's because our opponent um, clearly is, 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 was quiet on the court, and that kind of affected our play. We're typically a very energetic, um, enthusiastic group, so I'm, I'm hoping we'll play like we normally do tomorrow night. Players, anything to add? Uh, looking forward to playing Stevenson tomorrow. Yeah, we're looking forward for a, kind of a, a good competition just to fight back and forth for those points. Yeah, we play teams, you know, who have just like, kind of like, with our hitters, like, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like, they've like, dug us a lot. So like, we're used to teams like, um, always like, playing hard against us. And so I think that we just can't get frustrated with our hitters. We just have to keep playing and keep pushing through. And you know, they're a great team, you know, they use a lot of emotion in their game. And so we just have to keep going back and forth with them and you know, not give up and get frustrated. Sounds great. Uh, congratulations on the win. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs>